What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video as always and today we're going to be throwing in LED lights on the visor on the 2014 Mustang. Now doing extensive research online through many many years because I've been wanting to change these things for so long. Like literally I can't stand the piss poor ugly looking yellow lights that are on the visor and it's just something that absolutely urgently need to be replaced but there was no options online for it. I did a lot of research online with all the forums, YouTube, looking on some of these websites to see if there's any options to even purchase a bulb or even an LED light with it and there's absolutely nothing on there and when I tried taking it out I can't even take the bulb out within itself. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, how do you even change the bulb if you can't even take it out? It's like, it's one of those normal bulbs. I'm just like, all right, whatever. We're not even gonna worry about that anymore because we're gonna be doing something completely different than what's already currently on the car from factory. And that's gonna be throwing in LED strips where the light used to be. And I feel like this is gonna be a complete upgrade over what was originally on the car. I remember seeing online, they had options for the 2015 Mustang with the lights, but they didn't have any options for a 2014 model. I really don't know why, but leave them in the comment section if you guys know what the reason is. Unless I haven't found them, I haven't really looked hard enough. But other than that, we're gonna be jumping right into this video because we really don't have too much daylight left and I want to show you guys as much as I possibly can before it gets too dark. So let's get into today's video. When you get into the car, you're going to go right to where your visors are at. You have a driver's side and you have a passenger side, obviously. And I'm going to give you guys an example of what I did with this one because I already started this one and I felt like it turned absolutely amazing compared to this one, which I haven't started yet, and that's the driver's side. So the side I already started already has the white LED inside. As you can see, this is disgusting. I know, that's gross. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like on the inside here. This cover slides right off and you can see that there's an LED strip on the inside. And I actually had to bore out this hole right here. It does look a little bit of a mess, but when you have this cover over it, you're not gonna see any of this hole right here. And actually you have to actually bore this hole out in order to have a brighter light in here. But if not, you end up gonna have to run into a situation like this where when you take this one out and you have this tiny little hole where you're not gonna be able to get any of that light compared to over here. When you like make the hole bigger on this, you're able to catch a lot more of the light compared if you have this tiny little hole because the light's gonna be covering up this hole. So we wanna make sure that we bore this thing completely out. In order to do that, all we're gonna be doing is taking off these two screws. We're gonna be taking off these and this whole thing pops right off. So you're gonna need a standard screwdriver. When did this door close? Anywho. So once you have the two screws removed, you're actually gonna be exposed to all the wires. And once you're exposed to all the wires, you wanna pull this plastic piece out, which exposes the light. And from there, you're actually gonna clip this wire with a scissor. So you wanna be able to leave a little bit of extra wire at the end of this light in case you do mess up, because if you do mess up and you don't have any more LEDs, they're gonna be stuck with exposed wire and you don't wanna do that. So you wanna cut it a little bit of a ways just in case you need to fix it. All we're gonna be doing is adding new wire to the LED, and then we're all we're gonna do is cap it off to these existing wires so we can have one continuous wire. Save yourself some time considering that you already just cut these wires. The best thing you can do is go get some snips or just one of those wire cutters and pull up on this that surrounds this wire protection so it leaves exposed wire. You're gonna want to do it with the wires that you cut just so when you come back into the car all you have to do is just cap them off and it's one less thing you have to do later on. And as you can see what I was talking about with this bulb it's actually really hard to take it out because there's like a little plastic piece on the back that makes it a little bit difficult to be able to even remove the bulb. So I found the best bet is just to cut the wires and add our own LED strips which I've already kind of started. I cut a little piece and all you're gonna need is three little lights. This is the biggest piece that you're going to need because honestly anything bigger will not fit inside your mirror lights. So that's the best thing you could possibly do in order for these lights to work. All we're going to be doing is soldering new wire onto here. It's a little hard to catch on camera, but there's a positive sign on one side and a negative side on the other. The black one has a negative and the red one has a positive. And there is we're going to solder it, heat shrink it, and when we do that, it'll be all covered and it just gives us an extra protective measure. And then from there, once we have it all hooked up to the car, we're going to cap it off with these nuts. And from there, we should have a perfectly working LED. Before we continue moving forward, the things you're going to need for this job is a torch or a lighter. So when you wrap the heat shrink around the wires and the light, you're going to actually have something to wrap that heat shrink around. You're going to use these locking nuts in order to lock the wires together. If you really want to solder the lights in the car, you could definitely do so, but this is definitely an easier option. The LED strip, I'm actually using two-sided tape for this job, but you could definitely use super glue or you don't even have to use that. You could use the back end sticky, but this stuff really never worked good for me. And you're actually going to be using this razor knife to trim off a little bit of this, this rubber material that exposed the copper ends of this LED strip. And the last thing you're gonna need that's most importantly is a soldering kit. This is definitely needed in order to solder new wires on this LED.
So once you get to this point, the next thing you want to do is you want to match the colors. The red goes with the red and the black goes with the black. And for those that are saying that, oh, well, there's two black wires and there's one red wire, don't worry. Everything is negative that goes with black and everything that goes with red goes with positive. And the question you guys might be asking is about these two wires. All you'll be doing is just gonna be combining these together with your new wire. They're all the same corresponding negative wire as well as this red wire as well. Look at it this way. You got two wires running this way, then you got one coming out. Same difference. This one's just gonna be connected to this, and then these three wires are gonna be connected all together into one circuit. So the most important part of this project is we wanna make sure that we make this light work to its full potential so we can bore out this hole. And by doing so, the first thing we need to do is remove this light white little plastic piece, and all you have to do is just pull it up. You pull it off the tabs, this whole thing comes out completely and you might have to break off some glue in some little spots but it won't affect anything because you don't see this on the car to begin with when this thing is up so if you need to break this off you could definitely do so so since i already have everything off that i need to have off completely i want to test these lights out to make sure that they actually work so in case i need to make any more finer adjustments i can go inside and do so before i install everything all together so what i like doing when i put these wires together is i like to twist them together to make sure they stay intact and they don't fall apart in this case i'm just doing like a little test run just to make sure that they do work so i'm just going to twist the red ones and i'm going to go with this one single wire and then these two black wires and i'm just going to connect them all oh shit don't do that i'm going to put this wire out of the way so i don't cause any shock and then by doing so i'm just going to test these out real fast and as you can see the lights work so this one single black wire and these two black wires all go together and it causes the light to turn on and act like this is a switch when you tap these the light turns on and off so this button right here is what triggers whenever you open and close your mirror and as you can see this does work because act like your mirror is closed it closes in the button when you let go it turns it on so when your mirror is open it stays on when you close it it turns off so we know that this is going to work so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be drilling this hole out bigger just so we got more light one tool you're definitely going to need for this job that I forgot to mention is a Dremel. This thing is going to be extremely hard to cut through with scissors or razor knife or anything along those lines because this is hard plastic. And with a Dremel, it's able to cut through it nice and smoothly. And with the Dremel, you're able to control your hand really easily to where you don't go too far one way or another. And you can just really control what you're cutting to where you're not cutting too far in or too far out. <laughs> If this doesn't suit you enough, if you have a file laying around, you could definitely file the insides of here where you have a smooth inside, but it's really not necessary because you're not gonna see any of this, but for me being a perfectionist, I wanna make sure that this is all smooth in here. And going forward, if I ever need to take this out, I don't have to cut my hands. So a lot of you guys might be asking or questioning yourself, why did you cut the middle inside here where the tab was supposed to go for the plastic cover? The reason I ended up cutting it was because I ended up cutting it by accident on the passenger side. I ended up realizing there was no issues at all when I ended up putting the plastic cover back on. And I thought to myself, well, it's gonna give you more light visibility within the plastic cover when it's on. So that's another reason why you cut it off. And I also didn't cut too far right next to the holes because I wanted to make sure that when I do put my screws back in, that the screws don't break the plastic. And by giving yourself enough plastic that gives you enough thickness, it's gonna be able to where it's not gonna break off on you at any point when you're putting the screws back in. Hopefully it doesn't end up breaking on you, you didn't cut too close, but in this situation, though. So I gave myself enough room to where I didn't have to worry about breaking off any of the screws. This was not a hard process by any means. And this was something that you literally could do in your garage without having to have any expertise at all. You really have no electrical experience at all other than the small little shit that I do here and on the outside of the car, whatever little electrical lights like how I have around the dash of this car. Just little things like that. And you could do this definitely at home with just some little basic tools that you can make this thing work right. And since that, again, I... And since I don't, again, I don't have any super glue in this boo-boo ass adhesive on the back of these LED lights don't really work well. I'm gonna be using two side tapes. That's the next best thing I have until said otherwise, until one of these days I change it. And hopefully I could do this good the first time because honestly, my, I'm doing this with one hand. But when you do lay it down, again, you wanna put it as close as you can to these screw holes, push it down all the way, and you are good to go. When you push all this down, make sure it's tight on there, and this thing is going absolutely nowhere. Just check one last time that this button works, and it does. And this button is for, again, when you do open and close your mirror, that this thing will turn off and on. So when you open your mirror, on. When you close it, off. When you open it, oh shit. Oh, I was about to say it doesn't work. But sometimes when the car like goes into off mode or whatever it is, then these things will stop working, but it didn't. So I don't think we'll have those issues again. I think it was just because I was clicking this way too fast. I don't know, well, oh well. And going from there, you push that piece in and you're good to go. When you close it, lights are off. You can see that they're not shining. And then when you open and close it, you know that they're perfect. So 
that's exactly how you do this whole process guys this thing is very very easy it looks really good it's definitely a huge upgrade of whatever was originally on the car at the ugly yellow light it makes it look a lot more professional a lot more clean and it looks like it puts a lot more value on your v oh there goes the lights so that is it for this video guys my phone is literally about to die and i'm like rushing like like crazy to make sure that i get this video out because i really don't want to stop mini video but anyway i gotta stop talking now so these lights look absolutely amazing i love them to death they look awesome and i'm so glad i did this upgrade i wish i would have done this a lot sooner but everyone here can become an electrician just by doing the steps in this video it is really not a hard process i understand it can be scary to cut wires and do whatever you have to do but trust me it's very self-explanatory exactly the steps i showed you guys was proof to show that these lights work and they're very easy i don't have a lot of knowledge on electrical stuff but i definitely have enough to do exactly what we did here and also on the driver's side this is definitely an upgrade that makes the car look that much nicer and in my opinion this matches the vanity lights are up top to over here and man i am so glad we did this now we don't have one single yellow light on the car it doesn't look like a piss poor like as i said earlier in the video so please if you guys like this video please drop a like down below if you have any questions that you guys know exactly where to leave them in the comment section down below as always please subscribe to this channel if you guys found anything interesting and please check out my other videos i am constantly posting i'm trying my best to post at least every week or every other week hopefully i live up to that expectation it seems like i don't but we're gonna try we're still living up to that expectation at the moment we're doing really good at the moment but anyways guys hope you guys learned something out of this video and i hope to see you guys in the next one